Chinese Communist Party is tracking people's faces. They'll classify people by level of suspicion. And they're specifically targeting foreigners. China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. You should be using a VPN, like Surfshark, to protect yourself whenever you go online. So, do you ever feel like we're living in the future? Well, China is, in the most horrifying, dystopian way imaginable. They're building a surveillance system to monitor suspicious people. And by suspicious people, they mean all foreigners. The surveillance system also comes with an early warning mechanism. Like, how early? Pre-crime early? Is Tom Cruise going to have to replace his eyeballs to evade the Chinese Communist Party's new surveillance system? Although if he did have to replace his eyeballs, China is the place to do it, since the Communist Party does kill people and sell their corneas. Yeah, learning about China's forced organ harvesting is a real eye-opener. Of course, we all know China has been investing in surveillance technology for years. Back in 2018, the state-run People's Daily tweeted how facial recognition systems were being rolled out throughout China to help police crack down on criminals and improve security. They call it Skynet. Yeah, like the evil AI in Terminator. I told you, sci-fi dystopia. Skynet might be self-aware, but the Chinese Communist Party is not. Anyway, they claim the facial recognition system can scan China's population of about 1.4 billion people in a second. Wait, what does that even mean? It means China is reversing the commonly held vision of technology as a great democratizer, bringing people more freedom and connecting them to the world. In China, it has brought control. Yeah, no kidding. But in communist China, everything is about control. When Chairman Mao was in power, they just did it in a low-tech way, like with neighborhood committees that watched your every move. Now, well, they still have neighborhood committees, but they also have surveillance cameras. Because unlike the nosy auntie down the street, surveillance cameras never sleep. And since the pandemic, Chinese authorities have even been putting surveillance cameras inside people's homes. Strong 1984 vibes. So for years, the Chinese regime has been using surveillance tech to control the population, calling it improved security to make it sound more palatable. What do they do with this awesome amount of control? They shame their citizens for going outside while wearing pajamas. I can only assume they got that idea from Ray Bradbury. And when they have everybody's personal information in a single place, a data leak is a total disaster. Like when a facial recognition company accidentally exposed 6.8 million records of people's locations. But of course, a little mistake like that isn't going to stop the Chinese regime from reaching their goal of tracking their 1.4 billion population, and then some. I'll tell you more after the break. Welcome back. China has been building up its surveillance technology for years. They especially use this technology to monitor ethnic minorities, like the Uyghurs in the Xinjiang region. In fact, China developed a lot of this technology in Xinjiang. It's been called a frontline laboratory for surveillance. Monitoring Uyghurs was pretty much the marketing campaign for Hikvision, a Chinese company that specializes in security cameras. Hikvision, by the way, sells security cameras all over the world including in the U.S. That's why, even if you have never set foot in China, Hikvision's cameras have likely seen you. And if Hikvision's cameras have seen you, that means the Chinese Communist Party can see you too. So next time you see a security camera, say hi to the party. But the point is, the Chinese regime has long targeted specific groups for surveillance. But this latest development, where Chinese authorities are targeting journalists and foreign students is new. 
This is happening in Henan province, which is here. It's one of China's largest provinces by population, with around 100 million people. According to a report by surveillance research firm IPVM, back in July, Henan province's public security department issued a bid for a new security surveillance system. The system will be operated by at least 2,000 officials and policemen, and specifies that journalists will be divided into three categories, red, yellow, green, in decreasing order of risk. The document specifically lists people that the system will focus on as people of concern or people of interest to the state. In other words, a person of interest? Like I said, sci-fi dystopia. The list includes targeted journalists, international students, and women who are illegal immigrants from neighboring countries. And these targets are even listed in a chart. How blatant can you get? This bid came out around the same time foreign journalists were being harassed by locals for investigating the aftermath of the Zhengzhou floods, which were also in Henan. We did an episode about that. The Chinese government always stokes paranoia in Chinese people against foreign journalists, especially since the beginning of the CCP virus. Blaming foreign forces, a proud communist tradition. Both Reuters and the surveillance research firm IPVM reached out to Chinese officials in Henan for more information on the bid. And that's when Henan's public security department took down the bid. It turns out the bid was taken and won by a Chinese tech company named Newsoft. And Newsoft will be using Huawei cloud technology in their surveillance system. Yeah, that Huawei. According to the China Procurement Government Network, Newsoft was given almost $800,000 for completing the project in September. But how do we know all this information and reporting is true? Well. China basically confirmed it when they condemned IPVM for running the investigation on Henan's police surveillance project. And what does the Global Times have to say about the authorities targeting foreigners and journalists? Well, it's clearly the foreigners and journalists' fault. As for why Henan needs to purchase such a system to manage foreigners, the reason is obvious. If you have a criminal record in your home country, you come to China to find opportunities and clear your record. So all foreigners are criminals. But if you come to China disguised as a student or reporter to spy, subvert, and divide our countries, Hong Kong, Xinjiang, Tibet, and uh, Taiwan, these anti-Chinese actions are asking for trouble. So. Students and journalists are spies. Got it. And this episode has been sponsored by Surfshark. Because if you're tired of being under constant surveillance, at least you can hide your internet activity with a VPN like Surfshark. Surfshark has uncrackable encryption and the most secure VPN protocols. And with IP and DNS leak protection, neither the government nor your internet service provider can find where you're really connecting from. And Surfshark doesn't keep logs of what you do online. That's why using a VPN like Surfshark is a key part of protecting yourself whenever you go online. So use Surfshark. And another great feature is you can connect as many devices as you want with just one Surfshark account. So try it out now. Surfshark has a special holiday season deal that includes 83% off a two-year plan plus four extra months for free. Go to Surfshark.com slash uncensored and use the code uncensored to get their deal that includes four extra months for free. Use the link in the description below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.